Hello, this is me again, Helmut from Backheads Music. I got a thumb up for having English subtitles, so I was thinking maybe I should do the whole thing in English and have German subtitles. This video is about the app called Mixing Station for Android tablets or phones. It is designed for XR or XM32, Behringer or Midas, and for all Behringer XR12, 16 or 18 mixers. Um, up front, please purchase the pro version of the mixing station. It costs five or six dollars, but it has much more possibilities and you will love it. And here we are. This is the main uh, layout. Um, I see already my microphone might be a little bit too loud, so I put the gain a little bit down. Okay, that's better. This is the main layout. So what is the special? Why is this mixing station, station much better as the, the, the Behringer app? That's my belief and that's what I think. Because um, you can make absolutely your own layouts and your own mixer designs. Yeah? The one thing is the layout. If we go here on this side, we have the standard layout, 1-8, uh, uh, 9-16. Uh, this is the XR, XR uh, 16 mixing desk, what we're talking about here. We have here the standard stuff, we have the auxiliaries and the FX, the buses, sand, main, DCA, that's basically it. So now we have the possibility to go on this button with the setup, you can make either new layouts or new layers. Layers is um, the mixing desk configuration itself. That means I go to layers and I will make now a new layer with, uh, let's say, 10 channels, okay? You go to plus and you give the layer a name. I name it test. And now we want to add something to this layer. We go to the pluses. We can choose now between channels, uh, blank elements. We want to have the channels. I want to have channel one, two, three, four. I don't need the piano, I don't need channel 6, I want channel organ. Then this is 4, 5, 6 channels. Then I would like to have the two effects. And I would like to have the master. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and one more channel. So let's just, let's put the piano to it, okay? No, let's make, let's make him and blank channel, then you see that too. Okay, so this is what I wanna have on my mixer. You don't have to store it, it's already done. You just go back and you see now your mixer, how it looks like. Now we said we wanna add a blank channel, a blank element, and these elements I can now, just through touching, if you touch it longer, it's for delete. If you touch it short, you just move them. And I moved them here in between, so I have the FX channel separately. So if I go now back, then I see here on my list, the last one is called test. And now I have my layout, my channel layout, my mixer layout, how I want to have it. <clears throat> so here um, I already can work. I see when my reverb is coming back, etc., etc. So that's all fine what I want to have. So now I have a second possibility. And this is called on the setup again layouts. It's not the layers, it's the layout itself. And in the layout I can totally rearrange my mixing desk, including buttons, including delay uh, uh, buttons for, for a tap delay. And that's what we're going to do now. I go to plus again and we make a new layout. It's called, uh, let's call it mixer. And there it is. Double click and now you see your drawing board basically. We have here, if I touch it, I can move it. We have here this channel selection again, this layout selection. I can resize it, so I make it longer and you also can make it normally smaller. Okay, this one you can't make smaller. That's fine, that's what I need here. Then I go back to move. I have here my other selections. Yeah, it is possible. You have to do it from the right side, then you make it smaller too. Okay, I put this here on top. Go to move again, move it here. And here I have now my layout, my mixer. 
and we leave it here and I'll resize it right away. So I need this place for my mixer and now I still have some empty place over here and that's where it's going to be very interesting. So now I go to plus and I want to add a button. Here's the button. Sorry, this is the resize mode. You gotta go to move and I put the button here. So what's very um, necessary, maybe not on the small mixing desks, but on the bigger one, on the 32, uh, XR32 and XM32, is the um, selection for the auxiliary, for the sands, for the monitoring. Yeah? So if you always have to push three buttons to, um, that you come into the right layer um, to use the monitors, this is incredible, way too long. It should be fast, just like on an analog mixing desk. You should just touch the aux and there it is. Yeah? So what we're going to do is, we uh, create some buttons, you click them and you go to edit. Now you first give them a name. The name is going to be, uh, we call it monitor one. Yeah? Monitor one. Okay. And now I wanna add an action. What is this button? What uh, should this button do? We go to the type and I can have now uh, certain different things. I can go to effects, I can make a mute group, I can select the channel, or I can push the button sends on fader, and that's what we want to do. And we want to send bus one, which is our monitor one. And that's actually it already. If I go now back, I have here monitor one. If I go out of the layout, because the layout is already saved, you don't have to save it, and I push monitor one, I'm right away in the monitor mode and can put my channel to the auxiliary one to the monitor. And if I adjust it, what I have to adjust, I just push it again and I'm back in the master mode. And this is just great. You will love it, this is so fine. You can totally arrange our mixing desk how you want it and that's it, it helps you a lot uh, on live mixing. So let's go again and make a delay button. I already explained it one time in a different um, a video. I just want to show it again because this basically are the main things what you always need. You go to setup, you go to your layout, you have your mixer layout, you click it, you're now in the edit mode again. You go to your button, you create another button, you move it over here and delay normally you want to make it big because you have no time to look around. You just want to tap it and want to be sure that you have the right delay. You click it edit, give him a name, delay, okay, add an action, you go to this again and now we go to effect. I have already a rhythm delay in the uh, effect rack channel in there, so I click the delay and have here the time and that's actually all. So now I go back, see my mixer and I see my delay button already flashing. So I can click here and have my delay with my time, what I need. <clears throat> and in this direction, I basically can rearrange this mixing desk exactly how I like it. So it's possible to have on a small uh, a tablet, 12 channels exactly how you need it. You might not need a tom for the drums, you might not need the overheads right away, so you put your snare, you put your bass drum, you put your special instruments. You don't have to um, put stereo instruments there, you link them, you just put one organ here because the other one goes anyway with it. Yeah. So you can really um, make your own layout and only use these channels what you really need and uh, you work with this for a smaller band setting, I say six to eight piece band, it should be not a problem to work with this. You have directly the monitor when you need it for whoever, you go on here with the list. Yeah, um, just like I said, this uh, app is great, I love it. I mix my big mixing desk, my big smiters, but my, my smaller thing, this XR, it's great, it works. And I, yeah, I can tell everyone this is a very good application. Then it costs, just like I said, five or six dollars, so it's absolutely worth it. Uh, if you want to know more, please subscribe to the channel. I also will talk about uh, other apps and uh, probably also about some uh, Elation uh, Lightning program on uh, PC. Um, yeah, and I hope 
I showed you something new. And just like I said, subscribe my, my page if you wanna um, know, know, know more about this stuff. More videos on. Thank you.